for me personally is that it was uh, off. I, mean, I could feel it. You know, just my first uh, action since the, since the finals. So my time was a little off, and uh, you know, the turnovers I think kind of just trickled down to everybody. So it made everyone's time off. Do you think a week is enough to get ready, um, or do you think it's going to take you know a while to get everybody? together kind of the first unit um, I don't think we will be the team that we want to be in a week it's gonna be a it's for a whole season you know I don't, uh, we're gonna have changes we're gonna make changes we're gonna become a better team as the games go on so the team on open night won't be the team that we know we can be you know we're gonna be as as good as we can be up to this point I mean we'll only practice for two weeks and you play on the third week that's it's not like a lot of time to prepare especially when you have so many different guys coming in your first time you came off the Um, well, it gives us uh, a, a lot of opportunities to do some things that we haven't been able to do in the past. You know, his ability to guard guys one through four. Um, he's very smart, uh, you know, a tactician when it comes to defending, and uh, you know, I'm definitely happy to you know to have him, especially in the starting lineup too. You've spoken highly, of Derek and Jeff, uh, since they've came to camp this preseason. Just what are you seeing from them, especially the athleticism and filling the floor and all that. I mean, the feel of the game is there. They look, I mean, <clears throat> they know how to play the game. Um, but I think more importantly, they just seem happy, you know. And I haven't been with them, you know, obviously in their careers until just until now. Uh, but they just seem, um, you know, excited about the opportunity. Seem happy about playing the game of basketball and the way we play it. And uh, you know, that's always uh, it makes the game a lot easier when it comes down to. That. What do you think? Before tonight was the last time Dwayne threw you a lob of any kind? Um, last time we played. Um, probably not the last game that we played together. I don't believe we had a lob in that game, but uh, you know it's been some years, so uh, we get it back. That's what the preseason is for. I was going to say, if you guys don't convert on that play, is that just a sign that thing, things are off? Uh, no, no, we we haven't always converted on lobs. I mean, uh, but uh, we will convert more than we don't, so we'll be fine. You had that spin move and kind of came up playing for you know, thirty seconds or so. When do you know? Well, I'm pushing through it right now. I just wanted to try to test my foot, test my ankle to see, you know, how it will come out, you know, tonight. So, um, obviously, tonight and tomorrow morning is going to be the telltale sign of how I came out tonight. You know, it's, you know, I'm still fresh from the game, so, you know, it's okay now. But you never know when, you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you wake up the next morning how it can flare up or if it can stiffen up. So, you know, I know more about it tomorrow, but. I definitely wanted to test it tonight, knowing that I, at least that if I test it tonight, I have a week until the regular season start if I didn't play in the game on Friday. Is it, is it 100%? No, I told you it wasn't 100% the other day. So when you made remember, that, remember when, I said no. <laughs> when you made that spin move, though, was that? Yeah, you asked me if it was a, if it was a regular season game, could I have played? Mm -hmm. I told you no, I'm not 100%. So, so why push it Because I just want to test it out. Um, I got to you know, play at some point, you know, so. Um, I wanted to test it out and, and understand it, you know, see how I feel. And like I said, I'll at least have a week, you know, to kind of get it better and better, um, you know, depending on how I react tomorrow. So when you made that spin move, did you land awkwardly or just you no, sort I kinda of got tripped. No, I got tripped um, kind of, and it's just, you know, anytime you get tripped, you kind of, your, your balance is kind of off. So, you know, but I was fine after that. Did it, did it register right away that you were playing with D-Wade again? Did you have to take a moment? Or? No, no, I'm, no, not yet. I mean, probably once the season get going, you'll take a moment. But, you know, it's just it's the preseason. We're trying to work out things. We're putting new uh, sets in, working out some things, some kinks and things of that nature. So, you no, know, not yet. What did you see? What did you like from the second unit tonight? Uh, the energy. You know, the ball was popping. And uh, they got it from one side to another. You know, they were sharing the ball. Uh, and it was defending the rebound, you know, so uh, that was huge. You know, JR has uh, turned himself into a, a playmaker as well, and to, to get him coming off screens where a lot of defenses react to that. You know, he went down the lane, threw T-top uh, and one lob, um, you know, got you know got JG on the, on the pass as well. So, uh, you know, JR's ability to play making that second line helped us out a lot tonight. When you do put in a you know, new place, you have, is, is there a lot of thinking still going on? Well, it's just a you know it's a process because when you, anytime you have new guys, you kind of you know 
you, you get to a point where you're kind of out there and you're like, oh, let me see what he can do. Let me see what he can do. And then you start making really bad decisions because you start you know, you start selling yourself short, all of us. You know, like, you know, we all uh, can make plays and we're trying to, you know, make sure everyone else is happy instead of just playing and reading and reacting. And you can see that tonight, um, you know, and uh, hopefully we can get better with it, which we will. LeBron, a non-basketball question. I saw you, you tweeted a supportive message for Josh Gordon today um, mm -hmm. after the 13-minute documentary was yeah. released. What's the nature of your relationship and and what prompted that? I have zero relationship with Josh Gordon, but I have uh, a lot of knowledge about substance abuse. Um, you know, I've had uh, you know someone in my family that's had substance abuse, and uh, it's very easy to point the finger. Um, at, at people when you don't know what they're going through, and that is a real, uh, a real issue. Um, that is a real thing, and it's a real mental thing. And, and and obviously, you know, everyone look at Josh Gordon and saying, you know, how can you continue to do this and do that? And you know, you're, uh, you know, an NFL player making millions of dollars. You know, there's no way you should be doing this, but you never know what someone's going through. You know, because it's like I said, it's a real, real issue. I was, I know firsthand. I know firsthand. Um, because a loved one of mine had gone through substance abuse and um, we had to make sure that we got him uh, professional help because it's a real situation. So, um, you know, I, I applaud uh, uh, Joshua what he's doing. Um, I, mean, I, I thank him for allowing our cameras to actually follow him throughout his rehab. And, uh, you know, no matter what happens, no matter if he even plays another snap, I know that's his dream. That would be great to see him out on the field, but no matter – if he does that, I just hope he comes out and, and be a better person because, and hope he's um, healed because it's not a, even when he comes out, I know a lot about this, even when he comes out, it's still not over. That's, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning of, of uh, you know, being the best man that he can become. So um, I wish him well, like I said in the tweet. Last question, anybody? All right, All right. thanks a lot.